we're gonna look at organs. We're gonna go to our anatomy lab. And Alicia, thanks for helping me out. How are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. So the first thing I have to ask you, have you ever held a heart? No. Have you no. ever held a liver? Nope. Okay, you willing to with me today? Okay, just right. for you though. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I think these are the small girls. I'm gonna have you put those okay. on. Okay. And we're gonna sequentially look at what too much belly fat does to your body because the way the fat affects your internal organs and the things you can't see is what I wanna show everyone right now. So first and foremost, do you know what that is? Nope. I'm gonna pick how it up and show you how it, how it okay. looks in the human yes. body. Okay, so, like so. Anyone know what this is? You guys are getting good. Well, I'm like, what you, answer. it's fat. It's the simple answer. <laughs> so this is called your omentum. And think of the omentum, hold that for me and show it to everyone. The omentum in a way is the apron and it covers your internal organs. This is visceral fat. This is the fat that as you're putting on more and more weight, it goes and stores itself here. And this is where all those reactions begin, the pro-inflammatory process that can lead to heart disease, diabetes, and so many other ailments. So that's your omentum, lesson number one. How does that play into your heart? But hold this heart for me. This is a healthy human heart. It should be about the size of your fist. Okay. Just feel that. This is the heart of someone who took care of themselves. They were fit throughout their lives. They did not have high blood pressure. They weren't dealing with abdominal obesity. Hold this one for me. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'll hold that one up next to okay. it just to show. But feel how heavy that is. Wow. So do you all see this? Should I open it? Yeah, open it and show people. Should show people it? how big this is not a muscle you want to be this big. Compare the size of that heart chamber to this one. You see the size? This, is, this muscle here is probably triple the size of what it should be. That's crazy. I don't that, know. And that's someone who suffered from congestive heart failure. But this isn't it. It affects other things. You know what that is? A liver? Yes, indeed. Your liver does so many things. It filters your blood. It, it really does have so many functions that are important to life. Now pick that one up. I'm gonna hold the healthy one next to it. Believe it or not, most people think of liver disease as resulting from hepatitis infection or alcoholic liver disease, but you can develop fatty liver disease as well. And this is the end result. You feel all those nodules. Do you feel that? Yeah, it feels like a pebble path. Like and so this is when you get to the point where you develop something called cirrhosis, and your liver becomes extremely fibrous. Blood can no longer flow through it without getting obstructed. It can't perform its functions. So now, if you develop liver disease, you've got a heart that can't pump appropriately, you've got a liver that can't filter your blood through it appropriately, and let me show you one more thing. Okay. Even getting blood to your liver can be difficult because I'm gonna show you what happens in your aorta. This, everyone, is an aorta that has been opened up, okay? So think of the aorta is usually obviously closed, like so, right? And then we just opened it up. Everyone see at home and in the audience how smooth that is? I want you, Alicia, to, to feel how smooth that is. It's like a slide. It slides, right? Mm -hmm. Because your blood cells are supposed to slide through your arteries. This is the way your aorta looks when you're in your teens. Okay. This is the way your aorta looks if you spend your life making bad choices. I don't know if you can visually see how dramatic that is. Do you want to hold this one up next? I'm going to have you feel okay. this first, because okay. I want you to tell everyone what you feel. Oh, it's really, really bumpy and rough. These are fatty deposits that build up over time. And if you think you're immune from this because you're too young, think again. So hold this for me. This one? Yep. Okay. Y'all see the difference? Okay, let's lay these down. We're gonna go back through these. Do y'all see the difference? Do y'all see the difference? That's why I'm passionate about belly fat. Alicia, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me.